Hey everybody, it's Gameroggy. We're back with Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Last time we met Drippy's mom, and uh, apparently she's having some trouble popping out some Littleys. So we have to make her laugh to go check on her insides. Uh, unfortunately, Smiley and Surly are kind of lacking in the comedy department. So we had to get some pieces of art for them to get their comedy back. So let's see if that works, I guess. This guy's still sleeping here. <laughs> Alright, here you go, guys. Here, you got us all them pieces of art yet, Drippy Boy? Uh-huh. How do, boys? We got them pieces of art for you, ain't it? Nice one, Drippy Boy. You're a proper legend, man. You're serious about this, is it? Making mom laugh, I mean? Flippin' heck, man. Talk about in at the flippin' deep end. Ah, stop fretting, man. You'll be alright. Righto, boys. Get ready for a dose of just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Flip, man. What's this? All this then, eh? I feel weird as heck, man. Ain't it though? I feel like I've woken up after a proper long sleep or something. I feel better, man. Amazing, I think. They don't seem that different. Oh, we're different, all right. Comic Muse is in the house, and we're about to bring it down around her flipping ears, man. This will be a laugh. I know, amazing, ain't it? That's the power of the pieces' of art, man. Proper miraculous they are. I could make a brick wall laugh. I feel so flippin' funny, man. Let's flippin' do this. Show me the mummy. Hold up, hold up. We need to practice first, ain't it? Though, never mind jumping the gun, man. You're flippin' flying over to the thing. Uh, okay. You should practice. Come back when you're ready. Are you ready yet? It's time for the Smiley and Shirley sh Surly show. You ready to watch us split mom's sides? Have you got the guts to make the fairy godmother laugh and take a journey to the ends of her innards? Uh, Sure. The stage is set. The lights are lit. We'll crack her up. You crack on in there, right? Yeah, what he said. Let's get to it, shall we? Tonight is lovely. Ain't it though? It's like a dream, this is. Ain't it though? Ain't it though? Hey, speaking of dreams, I've always had a bit of a dream myself, you know. Oh, nice. Nice link, man. What it is, is, see, always want to run a little weapon shop, I have. A weapon shop, eh? Well, I don't know why you're bringing it up in the middle of a show, but sounds like an all right idea, that does. Ain't it though? Hey, do you fancy doing a quick practice with me? Huh? Practice? Yeah, man. I'll be the shopkeeper, see, and you, um. A zookeeper, right? And, uh, but all your animals have run away and your wife's left you. Oh, yeah. Make it easy for me, why don't you? I'm not a flipping professional actor, am I, you div? Come on, man, serious now. What do you want me to be? Uh, a lion tamer? Do how is that any flipping easier? Can I just be my flipping self? Oh, no one wants to see that, man. No, I know you again. You're trying to give me something hard to do so you look better in it, though. Nah, man. I just thought you'd like a nice juicy roll to get your teeth into, ain't it, though? Juicy roll, eh? Huh? Well, I may not be a professional, but my widow Twanky's pretty legendary. Righto. So, I'm the customer at your weapon shop, right? And you were the proprietor of said establishment. All right, give us a moment. Ba 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 ma 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 ka 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 ka. Get on with it, man. And knock knock out, do cha ching. Clear off, cha ching. What the heck was that, man? We slammed the door in my flipping face. We're not open yet, are we? Not open yet, but flipping out of here, Bill. All right, we're open now. Oh, you are, right. <laughs> knock knock, cha ching. How do? How do? I uh, just wanted to look at what weapons you got here, innit, though? 
Sorry, man, that's next door but one. What, no, it's flipping not. It's my shop. Yeah, you were wet fan shop. You can't go telling me what I sell to my own shop. But you said yourself you wanted it to be a flipping weapon shop. It is a flipping weapon shop. Give me strength, man. All right, all right, sorry, man. I'll do it properly now, I promise. It's a weapon shop. Good. Selling weapons. Exactly. Righto. Knock, knock. Cha-ching, how do? What weapons you got for you, then? What weapons you after, exactly? Well, I don't know, do I? Uh, what about, you know, one of them huge, great, choppy numbers? Yeah, a proper massive one of them. That's what I want. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Huh? You can't help me? You're the flipping shopkeeper, aren't you? I am sorry, sir. Huh? But that is just too big an axe. Flipping <laughs> axe, I was ripped it. Made this <laughs> one up, innit? Does it not take much? Tidy, laughing at her, laughing her flipping head off. She is brilliant. They did it. I can't quite believe it. That's great, but we should hurry. We won't make it inside if she stops laughing. You're not wrong, Ollie boy. Let's get a wriggle on. They are pretty silly. Oh, oh, oh. That's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> She's laughing like a flipping dream. Tidy, drippy man, we're all set. Wait, do you like all aboard? Aboard? Aboard what? Ah, here I go, boys. Let the mission to Mam begin. Hey, one of you give us a light, will you, man? Launch command received. Roger, Roger that. Hold on to your hats, we have ignition! Ow! Three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> <laughs> I did it, So? All here in one piece? One pile more like. All right, no need to get in a tiz. It's the only way to get in here, isn't it? Oh, this takes me back. Look around you, my friends. This year's Mummy's Tummy, where it all started. Mummy's Tummy. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at the little classrooms. They're, they're so sweet. Is this what they are? Uh, that is what they are, isn't it? That's right, bun. This is where we're brought up, ain't it? Can't do that without a classroom or two to teach us the ways of the fairy world, can you? Wow, can't wait to see what they look like inside. Esther, we have a job to do, remember? Y you're right, sorry, Oliver. Okay, let's look for the Litleys. Ouch. Ugh. Remind me why I'm doing this again? No worry, Swain. I don't know. Wow, look at this. Look at this craziness. It's all 2D. <laughs> And gooply. Hello. Kiarg! Nasty, nasty, beastie, beastie. Mr. Drippy, look. Oh, Nickers. If we don't do something quick, that Rotter's gonna make himself a, li a little omelette. We have to save him. Dinkies. <laughs> Bunch of dinkies. And I should have rested at the end, perhaps. Beat the dinkies and grab their keys. They got, it's like the very first keyblade, but they're doing it wrong. They're doing it wrong, dinkies. place really doesn't look like the insides of someone. <laughs> Are you okay? Ta ta, ta very much. Oh, he's so sweet. Oi, Litley, what happened by here anyway? Nasty, nasty, proper nasty. 
What's that? No, never. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. There's terrible. The fake hair center has been invaded. Horrible beasties have turned up and they've been bullying all the littlies, the rotters. That's awful. We have to help them. Please, man. Please, man. Please, please, please. Of course we'll help them. Goes without saying, ain't it? I'm just wondering how come beasties got in here in the first place. Could he have made it all the way to the fairy ground? Shidhar? It's possible. I suppose, yeah. But if he's made it past mom... Judging by what we saw him do in that storm, I don't think getting past your mom would be much of a challenge. It doesn't matter how they got in. What matters right now is saving the Littleys. You're right, Esther. Oh, you. Stay by here where it's safe, right? Nah, man. Wait, man. Nah, nah, nah. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't you hear him? Stay here, he said. But look at him. We can't just leave him here. He's terrified. We have to take him with us. But we're off bashing baddies, ain't it? It's not safe, man. It's safe by here. Scary, scary, proper scary. Ah! Don't be scared. You'll be fine. I guess it's kind of dangerous to leave him here, too, huh, Mr. Drippy? Flippin' heck, man. All right. Come on, then, you. We'll look after you. Yes. Come along now, Lidley. Tidy, let's go. Tidy, tidy. Go, go, go. <laughs> the Lidley is now following us. <laughs> I think Esther really wanted that to happen. Look at little little fairies. Oh my god. Litleys are adorable. Little eggies. Tidy looks like the door to the red to the rose rooms come open. Hmm. Okay. Here we are, Ali boy, the tulip room. That's not the rose room. This is the violet room, Ollie boy. What? Did you think it was just going to be purple or something? I don't know. <laughs> oh, hello. Ooh, thank goodness. I need this. Ah, refreshing. Trippy man, what are you doing by here? What are you guys doing here? Don't start with your chattering now, man. I'm on my break, ain't it? Is this the staff lounge? Lend me your ears a sec, Ollie boy. There's something I've got to tell you. What's that, Mr. Drippy? Those steps by there are the emergency exit out of Mom's guts. We call them the back passage, see? The back passage? That's right, man. So if you ever need to get out of Mom's guts in a hurry, just nip up those stairs. Uh, sure. But what's to stop the Littleys doing the same? Don't be daft, man. They ain't baby steps, are they? Way too high for a littley, they are. Now, the back passage will take you straight to the fairy ground, so you can come and go as you please, ain't it? Huh? So we could've used this to... use them to get in here in the first place? Well, yeah, I suppose, but where's the fun in that, man? Always been one for, one for a grand entrance, me. Got my reputation to think of, ain't it? Jeez. All that... all that effort? We could have just walked in here? Oh my god. I guess launching ourselves out of a cannon into her mouth was a lot cooler though, for sure. Uh, hello. <laughs> it's a derpy looking seal. <laughs> Splish splash splurg! Oh no, another one! Quickly, Ali boy, we've got to save those littlies! Splishers. They look so derpy. Oh man, it's fantastic. Take that, airhead. Take that. You're not my Nimbus. <laughs> Ooh. Give me that. Aww. Hey, two more Littleys. I can talk to him. Quickly, quickly. Ouch, man, ouch. Drippy, drippy. Littleys, what are you talking about? Oh, look, they got a little, like, ball pit over here. Nice. 
Looks like the door to the tulip rooms come unlocked. Okay, that's back there for sure. This place is huge. Okay. Let's go back to the tulip room. Hoorah! <laughs> hey, hoorays. Hey, enough of the belly bouncing. Holy cow, Swain. Oh, he died. And now Esther's about to die. Yep, she did. Okay, uh -huh. a little intense here. Please calm down. Come on, get him, 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 get him. Oh. oh, be careful. I'm gonna heal one more time. And then we got this. Bam, bam. Ooh, man. I don't know what happened there, but those the other two just went down. Big time. <laughs> I like that they still get XP though, even when they die or go unconscious or whatever. That's nice. Three more Litleys. I really don't like when like a party member dies in battle and then all of your XP is out of sync. <laughs> it's a big old pain. The Daffodil Room. All right. Look at all the little Litleys bouncing. They're bouncing so high, they could climb those stairs easily. Gonna heal. <laughs> Daffodil room. That's the rose room. Which one's this? Oh, this must be it. Hello. Plus. Are you a plessy? We can you are this. indeed a plessy. Quite a bit there. Calm down. Oh, Esther. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Oh, man, she's going down. Now Swain's going down. <laughs> Why do you people get hit so hard? Ooh, volcano. He must have got a gold glint. Wow. Well done. What can I say? It's a gift. So many Litleys. Da, 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 da. <laughs> There's the fairy godmother right there. Gigantic mountain mom. Alright, uh, this one? Holy cow, it's huge! Blah, 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 blah! Oh boy. Hubba blubber. Let's do it. Hubber blubber. Uh, maybe we should take out these hoorays. They're kind of painful. As Swain is discovering right now, actually. 
I'll help you. I'll help you, Esther. Oh boy. Whoa. Woo. Go, monkey. Beat up Hover Blubber. Yeah, get him. Get him. Pop, pop, pop. Holy cow! Okay, he hits, he hits pretty hard with his bouncing. Oh boy! Thank you. <laughs> now, honestly, he's not taking a whole lot of physical damage. Maybe just use some spells. Like good old fashioned uh, a pulse. Boy! Boink! <laughs> Leave me alone! Alright, he's, he's done. He's done, Zos. We did it! We did it! There's a picture of Drippy over there. All here, all here, tidy, 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 tidy. That's some proper good work, you lot. Looks like all the Littleys are safe and sound. Are you sure? Thank goodness for that. Let's have a quick count up. One, two, three, four, five. All the Littleys are alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Never let them go again. There's eleven. There's a dozen. Hey, that's Bevan. He's my cousin. <laughs> what? How do, man? Well, hey, the gang's all here, I'm a tidy. Sweet. Fly me, rhyme me, tidy, tidy, drippy, drippy. God, do they ever shut up? They're so annoying. How do we get rid of them? We take them to the exit, ain't it? There's a slide outside. Go down that, and the way out's just by the bottom there. A slide? Why is there a slide? to remind them that they can slip and slide on the banana skins of life in here but when they go outside the same stuff won't slide ain't it typical mom that is she's a big fi a fan of the old tough love I have literally no idea what you're talking about are you fairies all completely mad <laughs> I don't care what he means I'm just looking forward to the slide oh to be young and simple and flexible it sounds like it's gonna hurt not long now until the littlies are finally born Let's take him to the exit. Uh, I don't like the sound of back doors and slides when we're inside of someone. Who knows where we're going? <laughs> These innards aren't exactly normal, though. So who knows? All right, I'm gonna save you. Save you, wavy. So many litlies. Got a whole dozen. Here's the slide. Now all we gotta do is hop on this slide and we'll be out of mom's guts before you know it. You ready to go, Ollie boy? The tidy slide. <laughs> right, oh! Come on, Littleys! It's time for the slidey ride of you a tiny, tiny lies! <laughs> Well, don't just stand there, come on! Huh? <laughs> what the? What is that thing? Knickers! That rotter of a squid's got our kids! What the heck? The Littleys! No way! We already saved them once! Sorry, Ollie boy, but the future of the fairy race is at stake. Ah, do we have any choice? Holy cow. She has this thing in her stomach. And are we underwater? There's like bubbles going on. This is a weird place. All right. Uh, let's beat up this royal jelly. Okay, let's... All out defense. 
Oh, oh geez, that didn't help. It didn't help. It didn't help. Oh, nice. Slash dance. I don't even know what I did, but... Sweet. <laughs> Bam! Take that, Royal Jelly. Holy cow, this thing has a lot of health. Swain, please. Live, you fool! Uh-oh, bolt from the blue. I can't defend. Ow. My body. Oh, God Glim of Glory. Burning Heart. The all out defense and all out attack are so nice. Just being able to tell your other party members when to defend makes so much difference. <laughs> Alright, I can't really defend against this, so. I don't believe. Uh oh. Swain, please. Oh, heal the man. Heal him. Heal. Woohoo. Thank you, Esther. There we go. Defending all around. <laughs> Look at that. Flawless. Oh, gold glim hype. Get it. Get it. Gunther. Oh, all right. Do you do you, man. <laughs> I like the... The grin on this thing. Baby shower. Oh, no. Spewed out a bunch of babies. What the flippin' heck? There's loads of the little things coming out of it, man. Mind you, it looks proper knackered about or after popping that lot out. Now's your chance to give it a smack or two, Ollie boy. Yeah, but uh, you understand this is terrifying. There's a bunch of babies. There is a bunch of babies. Oh, Esther, please. Live! I love a peak! Live! Okay, uh, I'm totally gonna, like, pulse blast one of these babies. Man. Oh, boy. You know, Esther's probably gonna need some... Some stuff here. Pretty soon. Swain, oh for the love of God. <laughs> um, it's fine. I got Phoenix Feathers, too, at least. Uh, can't... Defend, you fools! Seems like when I guard against this... Why is Esther, like, immune to this? I mean, that's a good thing. Every time I defend against it, I get one of these cold glimpses. Oops, wow, I just wasted that. <laughs> At least that baby's going down. <laughs> uh, yeah! Uh, oh. oh my gosh, Esther's down? Ow. Oh boy. So many babies, man. How, how do I even defend against this nonsense? Holy cow. Oh, it's not looking good. Mr. Police. Okay. Yeah, not looking good at all, actually. Uh oh. I can't defend. I can't defend. Oh, I could have. I missed it. Oh god! Please don't touch me. 
Now we're gonna play some uh, Running Away Forever. Uh, it's the name of the game. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> These babies, man. I'm just gonna ignore them, I guess. Oh, what? Uh-oh. I wonder if defending really does prevent some of that. Oh, these babies are like stealing the aggro. Ah. Uh oh. That's not good. I think I'm gonna waste this burning heart. Unless I just get hit. All right, babies, prepare to be burned. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long fight. I'm gonna run out of MP quite a bit. You. Like right now, actually. Going down, Jelly Baby. Bam! Nope. Not this day. Alright, where's your gold glim? I know you're supposed to spawn one. Oh, but he didn't. Ouch. Oh, boy. It's not looking good. Not looking good. What the heck am I gonna do? I was not prepared! I was not prepared! What baby has the least? Jelly Baby A. Okay. <laughs> I don't have another way to res people. Yeah. Go down, Jelly Baby A! Let's give me another gold glim, please! Thanks, cause like, while these babies are alive, I can't even target it. The main thing. Uh oh, try it, try it, royal jelly. And I don't even like bring out a melee because it's just a little bit too dangerous. Are you gonna spawn any more gold glimpse? It's gonna be a big old jerk. If nothing confuses me, I might be in a very big pickle. Uh <clears throat> I wonder how good fire is. Not that great. Why is pulse so good? Might have to use one of those um recover all MP things. Do I even have one? Nope, I have no more MP recovery. I'm so dead, man. <laughs> All right, time to bring out the big guns. Oh my god, they hit so hard. Uh, I do have food that can heal me, so worst comes to worst. We're gonna do that. Nope, 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 nope. nope. I wish I had like 10 more Phoenix Feathers. I don't want to attack the Royal Jelly. I'm gonna attack one of those. Ah, whatever. Ouch. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Everything hurts! This boss is actually pretty tough. Not going to lie. Uh, especially if I'm if you're stuck in a situation like me. Uh oh. Die, babies, die. Woo-oh. Uh, I think it's provision time. 
We're gonna go for a Tikka Mahala. In my face. So I have quite a few of those. Did I kill that baby jelly? Yeah, get it, get it, get it. Uh-oh. Ugh. Almost down to just one enemy again. <laughs> really could use that. Really could use that. Uh, what am I trying to say? A gold glim. Alright, buddy. Here, have a fireball. Alright. It's time for you to get rocked, Royal Jelly. Slowly. Please stop hitting me so hard. That would be great. There's one. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. <laughs> so maybe I just have to be close enough when I'm guarding to, uh, for that gold limb to spawn. Alright. We got this. I think we got this. Might just take a little bit. Oh, seriously? Go, Glim, ahoy! I don't know how I got it, but whatever. Burning heart. A fury! Okay, that was a lot more effective. Uh, yeah. So, uh, definitely don't go into this fight like I did, completely unprepared. But even if you do, uh, you can pull out of things probably uh, without without losing. <laughs> you may just go through a lot of items. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, nice! Block. <laughs> I countered it. Awesome. Beat him up. Come on, Rocky. You got this, man. He's almost dead. Get him. Get him. Get him. Okay, no, don't get greedy, though. Holy cow. Go, monkey, go. Nice. Oh, monkey. You are the bee's knees, man. Oh, God. Nice. We win. Somehow. We won. That was a struggle. <laughs> uh, I really gotta buy items, like, really badly. War Cry. Nice. Sand Blast. Bubble bath. Whirly gig. Okay. Oh, royal jelly. Ooh, you were horrible. Ta man, ta ta, ta 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 ta. Thank goodness. Is everyone all right? Ha. Huh. Of course they are. These Littleys are nowhere near as fragile as their egg-looking. When I was their age, I ate squid for breakfast. Proper hard, I was. But wasn't that a jellyfish just now? What a lucky escape, though. I've never seen a sea creature so big. I thought we were finished. Well, something had to be done about it, and I suppose we were just the... We we're just the ones that do it, eh? There's heroic of us. Sure, someone had to make sure the Littleys made it out somehow, huh? Speaking of which, how do we get out of here? Yes, how do we get out of here? Th there's no way out. We can't get back up the slide. Of course we can't. It's miles back up to the top. So what do we do? What do you think we do, man? We get reborn, ain't it? Huh? What? Yeah, we pop out along with the Littleys. Come on, man. Only live once. And you're only supposed to be born once, too, you demented little gnome. Just what are you suggesting? You flippin' humans are so prudish. It's like this, see? Just up beyond here is Mom's exit. <laughs> nice. It's where the Littleys get born from, ain't it? And if we just pop out with them, we'll be back in the fairy ground before you know it. Besides, it's not like we've got much choice in the matter. Just 
pop out? Are you mad? Poppy toppy. Tidy righty. Well, hey. Gee, I don't know about this. Don't worry. As long as we're together, we'll make it through somehow. Remember the eye of the storm? We survived that, didn't we? Yeah, but P was the one that saved us. <laughs> toppy poppy toppy poppy. And I guess this is it. Time to be born again. Here goes nothing, man. We'll make a quick exit. And one heck of an entrance. Oh, they're coming. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, they're coming. At long last. Come on, my little darlings. Where's Drippy? It's getting late. Yeah, he must be an accurate after the day we've had. I know I am. Oh look, there he is. You boys did a proper tidy job, man. Mom was laughing fit to flip and burst. Well, we couldn't have done it without you, Drippy boy. Them pieces of art pack a real punch, ain't it, though? We were on fire, man. Yeah, I suppose you would would have bombed without my help, eh? Mind you, your routine. I gotta say, man. It was pretty flippin' funny. Really? Thanks, Drippy boy. Took me back, it did. Back to the days when the stage was still my life. Ah, it's a tidy while ago now. Your gags are legendary, man. Classics, they were. Our material's nothing compared to yours. I'm just chuffed we made you chuckle. He's right, man. When it comes to tickling Mom's funny bone, there's no one ever did it quite like you, Drippy Boy. Stop it, man. You're making me blush. Time for my jokes is long gone. I won't be back on the circuit anytime soon. Besides, I've got that lot to be shepherd shepherding around now, ain't it? What would they do without me? Drippy Boy. But I do think about it sometimes. What would have happened, you know? If I'd never gone off with Alicia, like... I wonder how far I would have gone in the old comedy game. Mr. Drippy? Oh, it's you lot, is it? What's up? You didn't hear all that, did you? Uh, we, um, no. We didn't hear anything. No, we just got here, didn't we? Um, anyway, it's late. We should get some rest. Yeah, you're right. Tidy. I'll show you the old inn, shall I? It's a bit small for you lot. But you'll just have to grin and bear it. How am I supposed to sleep in a fairy-sized bed? I'm sure you'll manage somehow. You never seem to have much trouble falling into a deep and noisy sleep. Gee, poor Mr. Drippy. Oh. I guess they did over here. <laughs> Seeing them go to waste. You're a a fairy? I am, and a proper tidy one at that. You talk funny. <laughs> That's how fairies talk, sweetie. But it's goofy. Oh, is it now? Well, I wish I'd known that before I made him for you. Nobody made him. He's my friend. Of course he is. I'm sorry. And I'm sure he'll always be your friend, no matter what. Come on now, don't be such a crybaby, Bunting. 
What would Mr. Drippy think? I'm not a crybaby bunting. Then you'd better dry those tears, hadn't you? Hmm? Whoa, how can I ever thank you, Bach? Saved my life, you did. We're just happy to help, man. And we're sure glad the Litleys are safe. But are you alright now? You did have a giant jellyfish inside you, after all. Oh, is that what it was? I thought it was a squid. Us fairies love a bit of seafood, see? And it looks so big and juicy, I just couldn't help myself. You mean... That's right, Buck. Swallowed it straight down, I did. What? There we were, worrying she'd been attacked by Shadar, and it was all because she was too greedy for her own good? Look on the bright side, Swain. It means the reason was much less serious than we thought it was. Shadar, you say? Where have I heard that name before? Shadar, Shadar. Oh, him! You know Shadar, ma'am? Nope! Is she taking the mick? Sorry, love. Of course I know him. He's the one who was flying around my head, causing all kinds of mischief. Proper little terror he is. Smiley, surly, get your bottoms over by here. We're here, we're here. Keep your hair on, man. What is it, ma'am? Stop flipping shouting. <laughs> Can you two boys go and take a look over by Shadar's castle for me? What? Knickers! Not bad, love, not bad. I thought you'd lost your comic touch, but what a reaction. Found your form again, you have. There's lovely. This ain't part of our flippin' act, man. You just asked us to go to Shad Shadar's flippin' castle. What kind of reaction did you expect? Can't refuse, Mom, though, can we? We'd best go and have a look, eh? Crikey, you don't take much convincing, do ya? Yeah, man, but think about Ollie Boy and that. They helped us out good and proper, ain't it, though? Least we can do is return the favor. There you go, being noble again. What did I tell you about that? Please, boys, for me, you wouldn't want to disappoint your dear old mom now, would you? You can say that again. We know better than to get on your bad side. Looks like we're taking a sabbatical then, eh? What's that? Splitting up, you mean? Right too, might as well, eh? How many times? We're not flipping splitting up. I mean, we'll have to take a break for a bit, honestly. Thank you, Smiley. Thank you, Surly. Don't thank us. Thank Mom. Is her flippin' idea. Tom, Mom. Anyway, we'll let Drippy Boy know if we find anything, ain't it? Thank you. Speaking of Drippy, where is he? He slipped off, ain't it? Probably gone to say bye to all the boys in town, eh? Mr. Drippy. Righto. You're off now, ain't you, Bach? Me? Uh, yes, ma'am. We have to find the next great sage. Of course you do, love. You're a wizard, ain't it? Fancy a spell or two to be going on your way with? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess. I mean, yes, please, ma'am. Shift shape. Change your appearance to become a perfect copy of another being. Whoa, cool. Second self. Create a foolproof doppelganger of yourself. These spells are awesome. <laughs> Mimic. Perform uncanny impersonations upon demands. Wow. Vanish. Become invisible and disappear into the shadows. How many is she gonna give me? Wear cat. Become a cat and experience life as a feline. Wear fish. Become a fish and discover the joys of life of the aquatic uh, life aquatic. It's like six spells. What? Shrink. Reduce your body to a fraction of its size. Open mind. Peek inside a person's mind and listen to the voices within. When is it going to stop? Loaf of life. Produce a fresh loaf of bread to ward off hunger. I want that spell IRL. Thank you very much. Actually, all of these spells would be pretty cool. Poison apple. Conjure up an apple that drips with deadly venom. Oh my god. Do I need that one? Wow. Wow. That's a lot of spells. Ha! Huh, sure is. Thank you so much, ma'am. And they're all proper useful ones, too. Well, useful to fairies, at least. Still, I'm sure there's one or two in there that you can make use of, love. We'll have a look later. We need to get moving. 
Come on, we've wasted enough time. Let's find Lantern Face and get back to the boat. You're right. We need to get back to on the trail of the Great Sage. We sure do. Goodbye, ma'am. Goodbye. Tara, my loves. Pop by any time. Trippy left me. He left us? Giant pulsating mountain mom. <laughs> Holy cow. Crazy beans, you two. I always forget what a sight it is to see old mom pop out a batch of Litleys. Disgusting, but somehow compelling at the same time. Tidy, the Litleys got born. Ah, makes you realize what's been missing around by here lately. A good old-fashioned birthday party. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Splendorificness. I wonder if there's any, like... Hey. Oh, what do you know? I was just thinking, there's probably like a long-range thing in here somewhere. <laughs> Poison pinch. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go see what Drippy's up to. Holy cow, that fight took so long. I gotta buy... I gotta buy more Phoenix Feathers and... Coffee. <laughs> Look at Mr. Drippy! Come on, don't go getting all soppy on me! Oi, I thought I told you to... <laughs> He does have a caring side after all. Hmm. Family's family, I suppose. Mr. Drippy. This is where you need to be. Shall we go? Maybe we should. This is where he belongs after all. Yeah. It is, huh? Are oh, we're gonna leave him here? Oh, there's a chest over here? Since when? Fish burger. So long, Mr. Drippy. My friend. Am I all healed up? Oh, yeah. I'm going to come back and buy things, but hang on. Let's trigger this cutscene, eh? Whoa! Sinbad, what are you doing out here? Captain Sinbad! Oliver, thank goodness! Tell me that you at least found somewhere to shelter at night. We sure did. We brought a ton of food, too. There's a little village on the island and... A village, you say? And food also. I'm pleased to learn this. And you'll be pleased to learn that my men have completed their repairs to the ship. She's ready to sail upon your command. Shall I give the order to weigh anchor? Leave Trippy behind. On Tahiti? I didn't even realize that was the name of this island. That's hilarious. Because <laughs> they're laughing. Tihi. And it's Tahiti. Huh. Works on two loves. Uh. Yes. Yes, please. Hmm? You are troubled, I feel. Have you left something behind in the forest? No. No, we're ready to go. Very well. We sail. Drippy, my friend. We did the right thing, didn't we? Of course. Family is the most important thing there is. We all know that. And besides, he's no spring chicken. Probably about time he settled down. And you've still got us, Oliver. The three of us can do this if we work together. I guess so. Oi! Hmm? Did you hear that? Huh? Ran across the water. 
<sighs> I'm pooped, man. You trying to leave without me or something? But, Drippy, we thought you wanted to stay back there in the fairy ground. Who told you that, man? And when exactly? I want names, dates, times. We just thought all your friends are back there. Of course they are, man. And they're very dear to me, even the stupid ones. But you and me have been a team now since you were a littley, and I was just a doll, ain't it, Ollie boy? I've been by your side through thick and thin, remember what you said? You said I was your friend. You lot are all my friends, my companions, my brothers and sisters, my family. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Shut it, you. What I mean is, you lot are stuck with me whether you like it or not. So get that into your thick skulls, will ya? Yes, sir, Mr. Drippy. Hmm. We were only trying to be nice after we heard that you said to, uh, what you said to your friends yesterday. Oh, so it's my fault now, is it? I get it. You don't think I've been pulling my weight, is it? Fine. I'm gonna start using a little trick that I know that'll blow your tiny minds. Trippy finally got his act together and can now use the Tidy Tears ability. Heh. <laughs> Can't wait to see this. Anyway, it looks like the gang's all here. Shall we get back to what we were supposed to be doing? What he said. To Hamlin. And the next great sage. Tumnia, here we come. Let's go. He joined us again. Sweet. <laughs> you know, the fairies The fairies remind me of Tamagotchis. <laughs> uh, I was thinking that earlier and I forgot to say it. But I'm saying it now. The brazen presumptuous of the tear fairy's heart was unlocked uh, has unlocked a story in the wizard's companion the fairy who wouldn't stop crying the eye of the storm until now the use of this most ancient of magics was the sole privilege of the overseers of this world was it too much for you perhaps we granted you this privilege that you might finally dispose of the prophesied one. My apologies, your radiance. But the boy... He has a... Unique power. Perhaps. Or perhaps you simply lack the power to stop him. Perhaps... Apes. Forgive me, your radiance. Majesty, the boy is clearly protected by the most potent of magics. Could it be... The sage, Alicia? I had wondered, your radiance. She who was foolish enough to stand against you. You think she troubles us even now, in the present? The power that protects him would suggest so. But he will need more than the sage's aid to save the world. He cannot succeed without the weapon of the ancients, the wand wrought by the wizard king. Monster. Indeed. But we have no cause to fear its power. He will not find it. I have made that impossible. Making a wand disappear is the simplest of power tricks, after all. You mean to say you have rid us of Mornstar? I have. The most enduring symbol of the Wizard King's rule now drifts free of time and space. Mornstar. Fashioned in the image of our own Council's wands and bestowed upon humanity. Yet now, a mere hindrance. You are certain the boy cannot possess it? Not now, nor for all eternity. Mornstar. Ooh. I think I want that thing. I'll take one more star, please. Okay, I'm definitely gonna end this here, you guys. I don't know how long this episode's been, because I actually got a call right in the middle of that fight, so... <laughs> uh... 
yeah, we'll end it here, and uh, next time we'll set sail for Hamelin in Atumnia. Uh, I'm probably gonna go back into the fairy ground and buy a bunch of items because I am really, really low on those puppies. So yeah, <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye bye.